guess I got room for one more. I get JoJo seat. Yep. JoJo, sorry you've been downgraded, buddy. I'll see you out there. I know you won't. He's already out there. Oh, he's already out there. Man, that's a nice looking fence. I wonder who did that. Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. Thanks for stopping by. I have my beautiful bride in tow. You saw a hitchhiker on the road and I picked her up. Got some ice water. And she is staying hydrated. And the cows, they are hungry. We are about ready to relieve a little bit of stress on the farm. You know how you do that, Cassie? Get rid of stuff? You get rid of animals. And we, are, like right we are saying goodbye to some animals. So Cassie, you want to tell them what animals we're getting rid of while I feed the cows? Sure. All right. So uh, as you guys know, I like to hatch eggs. Um, and I've hatched quite a few chickens. And there is a girl from my school and my church that I've known for a long time who's a, a kid. And she has started a love for chickens and she unfortunately had a raccoon come and we all know what raccoons do to chickens so they've taken care of the problem but she was bummed that she wasn't getting eggs and didn't have any laying hens anymore so we're going to go catch a few and i'm going to give her to give them to her to get her started again so she can get an incubator and start hatching her own eggs so i've looked to see which ones i think i could part with so we're gonna go try to catch them. Well. So before we did that, I knew the cows would be bawling nonstop and there would be somebody saying, why do you have all those farm noises on your farm? Those cows just keep on moving while you're trying to catch those chickens. So I took care of the cows. I got them all fed. <laughs> There's one smart one over there. She's got the feeder to herself while they're fighting over all that feed, so. All right, operation catch chickens. Hopefully this goes well. All right, off she goes. Well, we're gonna put this to the side because we are yep. only gonna use it if we have to have it. Hopefully we don't need it, but you guys know catching chickens is very unpredictable. So there's a chance that we need it. We'll see. First things first though, we're gonna feed the goats, keep them busy, keep them out of our hair. Watch out chickies. What do you think big guy? So JFK is a beautiful, beautiful Billy. I'm really, really happy with him. You see any can catch right the second? Or you want me to catch? Tell me if you see any. Okay, Carter. Carter's behind you. What about one of these black chickens? Yeah. No, it's not the AM Samani. You got her? Yeah. All right. Well, there's one chicken down. She is not happy. Three to go in a rooster? Uh, at least. At least. Woo! She fast. was fast. And that's the thing, they turn around sometimes, they're ready to go. So that gray one right there, you can get it, but I'll, I'm keeping Gertrude with that gray one. Oh, that gray one? Okay. This one right here under the tree. That one? I could have grabbed her. All right. All right, let me get the chickens. Chick, 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 chick. 
Oh. 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 I really want to know who. You got nurtured and she just pooped all over you. Seriously? Where'd she poop at? It mostly went in the ground. Oh, okay. It's the dark gray. Oh, that one over there? I want to know who's laying this egg because they're going. See, this is the AM Samani. She doesn't have a fluffy head and she has a black comb. They're Americanas you can catch, the black ones that don't have a big comb. Yeah, that's one. Hey, babies. Any of the black ones that have a fluffy head, it's not the black one with the black comb. Here. That one right over there with the black face. The, the one with turquoise in it or the one without? The, the tan one. Now she's walking away. Yeah. She's part AM Samarni. Is there part. any right here in front of me? That could any go? of the black ones except okay. for the one that one over Dottie? there. Yeah, you can get the one by Dottie. One of the one of the Arizona orange ones with a long tail, you could get one of them. I prefer that one that's right there in front of you. Yeah, get those wings. I'm sorry. You're a game chicken, I know. She's a fighter. She's game. You know how you know they're game chickens? You say, hey, you want to fight? They go, I'm game. <laughs> <laughs> so we are getting a few of them. Got a little bit of chicken poop on me, Cassie said. Where'd it go? Right there? I don't know. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> go zoom tight. Okay. So, are you listening? I'm listening. Taking notes. There's one, two, three Americanas, four Americanas that you could choose from. Okay, any of the black ones. Not the one with the black comb on its head. Yes, I know that. The other black ones. And then she's walking towards me pecking the ground. That yeah. one. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's brown, uh, tan and... See, what happens is I get close enough to her, I know she's not going to let me catch her. So would we alternate for just a black chicken? Yeah. Gee, 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 Preferably gee. the one that's laying an egg on the ground. I think it's this one right here by the rooster. They're all leery now. Oh, they're super leery. You still gotta get Carter too. I can get Carter with a net anytime. He's weak sauce. Hey babies. Not that one. No, you can that one. The Amsmani's over here. Okay. Any of the black ones over here, you can now. I love them, but I love Cassie's chickens. It's a black Americana. She's pretty. Lay a green egg. The problem is there's hey. four of them. Hey. And I don't know who is laying on the ground. Well, you got the net, Gary. Well, there's one little rooster. Me and him have a lot of history. His name is Carter Share, famous YouTuber. And I'm going to catch Carter Share in this net. And he, he's not close enough. He doesn't come close enough. Why to are we getting rid of Carter? So we're getting rid of Carter because he crows, and we would like to hear our big rooster crow. Well, and that... he's a bantam, and we've already showed him several times. He's a good little rooster, but we really want one big rooster, right, Cassie? Cassie's the chicken lady. Okay, now let me tell you why we're giving her to Carter. So, the girl that I'm giving these chickens to had a bad um, experience with a rooster. It was a mean rooster and it attacked her. Carter is nice. We've had him for over two years now. Super nice. He does crow a lot and our other rooster isn't crowing. So, we'll see if he'll start crowing now. Um, also, I have two more roosters that are prospects for us to keep. And I already have two roosters in here. So I need to eliminate a rooster. So I thought Carter was a good choice because he'd be a nice rooster for this 
girl to have. She could even show him because she's interested in showing chickens. And uh, she shouldn't attack, he shouldn't attack her like her other rooster. <laughs> he faked you out, he double backed. He juked me. So he's now strutting his stuff because he juked Gary and broke his ankles. He's like a little running back. <laughs> Put him, a, sign him up for the Dallas Cowboys. It'd be an improvement to what they got. That was a pretty good move. Hey, Ezekiel Elliott's a good running back. Well, they haven't won any Super Bowls. Well, how good is he? They're all a little bit dramatic, maybe. Want me to walk on the other side? Yeah. He's between you and me if you come around. My dinosaur chicken almost flew out, babe. Okay, let's let him settle in. This is it. My dinosaur chicken's got hops. Carter, you got yourself all messed up in there. That's real. He's a show chicken. He has... Okay, so when we had Carter at the fair, the kids showed him, they had a question mark. They said, comb, question mark. No, that was a different rooster. Oh, it was? I'm pretty sure it was Carter. I think they I think they only docked him for his comb. Oh, it? because his comb wasn't big enough mm -hmm. yet, maybe? Yeah, I think it was because maybe they either didn't like something about his comb. I just remember distinctly. Well, remember that one I took that was a bard rock and it said something about its comb? I thought it was a bard rock and it ended up being a different breed. No, this was two years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, this was Carter. I distinctly remember and I thought, man, poor Carter. I thought he was like a championship. Or, look at that tail. <laughs> he is so pretty. Oh, look at those spots. Uh, what are they called? Spurs? Spurs. I want to say spikes. Well, we do not raise fighting chickens at this farm, guys. We are not fighting Carter, okay? He's going to a nice home. Nice little girl. Gonna take good care of him. Right, Cassie? She is. So I almost left my bucket behind. I gotta get it. And you guys know Cassie is shaping the minds of American youth. Alright? She is bringing the next generation of homesteaders along. She's gonna get them started with their um, laying hens. A, a coon comes and ruins the day. No, not on Cassie's watch. Not, oh, jackpot. So we've got four eggs in there. But if you don't know this about Cassie, she is a very giving person. To give her a crazy chicken lady to give up her chickens, <laughs> all right? She is a very giving person, so. Well, and they wanted to pay me for them. I told them that. I can see selling like a hundred dollar goat, but a five dollar chicken, to, I would rather give it to, I'd rather give a five dollar chicken to a kid than charge a kid five dollars well, a chicken. And we also know how it feels when you had your chickens taken by predators. So we've had roosters, we've had our, our turkey, um, we've had our favorite uh, rooster taken before. And you put a lot of time and effort into these animals. You love them, you spend time with them day in and day out. When you lose one to a predator, it's, it breaks your heart. So hopefully this will help a little bit getting some new chickens. But you also know what it means? Oh. I get to hatch some more eggs. Oh man. Yes, that means she gets to hatch more chickens. That wasn't my whole motive, but um, summer, summer will be over soon and I'm gonna hatch more, more chickens. So all of these that I'm giving, I hatched except for two. You know which two, Gary? Um, I know the dark gray one we got from... Nope, hatched it. The dark gray one? Yep. I thought we got that from uh, from Chad, no? The um, the Bantam Rooster, Gertrude I know... Gertrude we got from Chad. Okay, but the Bantam Rooster, I know that we didn't. We got that from uh, our friend of ours. Yeah, someone gave that to him. That and then the, the first one I caught, the Easter Egger, Chad did give, uh, trade us that for toilet paper in 2020. Oh, that was, that's a Rona chicken. <laughs> you call that Rona chicken. It happened during Rona. So this is the next day. We got the chickens delivered last night. We didn't get to video any there. We were too busy visiting with our friends. But stay tuned. Cassie will have a picture of her and the brand new crazy chicken teenager lady that got all the chickens. But I ran into something that I thought was kind of odd. I, I planned on videoing with Cassie later on the porch um, so she don't have to come out in the heat very much. But I thought this was really strange. Uh, I went to dump this pool wall ago. You see the uh, green pool we have set up? The turkeys are over there.
Why the turkeys are getting in the pool, I don't know. The ducks were swimming around in there just a minute ago, but they went on over there to, to try to find some feed. But I went to rinse that pool out. Every day I, I rinse it out, fill it up with water again. And guess what I found in the pool today? A turkey egg. So we have not seen the turkeys lay eggs since we've had them in this new pen. At least we haven't found them. And look what we I found in that green pool so why in the world did the turkeys lay egg egg in the green pool Zena, Zena, why did they lay an egg in the green pool can you tell us you see the egg they laid well i'm not going to give it to you i want to give it to cassie i want to confirm this is a turkey egg and not a duck egg but i'm 99 percent sure that is a turkey egg but they uh turkeys are doing good i just thought that was awfully funny to find an egg setting in uh the pin there so i thought i'd share that with you guys and see what you thought about it and of course i'll take it up to cassie in a little bit and share that with her as well carly you doing okay girl you doing okay in just a couple of days i plan on making a video with carly doing some more training with her back in the the big pen but during the week right now uh we don't get to spend very much time in there with it all right i think this is nice good clean water Zena's water's full. The turkeys have a new place to lay their eggs in the fresh green pool water. Who knew? I never knew turkeys wanted to lay an egg in the water. But let's head up to the house. I've got some more things I gotta do tour wise. Um, I also have to do something that I usually don't like to do. That is mow grass. But since we're coming out of a drought, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about anything to do with grass growing. I'm, I'm pretty excited. So let's head up to the house in just a little bit. We'll catch up with Cassie. Uh, she'll give you an update on how she's been doing and how her first day back at school went today. She spent the entire day back at school and did good, but we'll catch up with her. Finally finished up tours outside and I've got a surprise for Cassie. I brought you something. Looks kind of strange. What do you think it is? <laughs> Well, it's a turkey egg, but it's green and brown and looks like it's seen better days. Where do you think I found it at? There's no telling. So turkeys usually lay in like a nest, possibly, or on the ground or inside a box. But have you ever seen a turkey lay an egg inside a swimming pool? I have not. Well, this is where this one came from. It came from that green swimming pool. And I saw the turkeys get back into the swimming pool after I put fresh water in it. So I don't know, maybe it's just mm -hmm. hot, so hot outside that it's time to start laying our eggs in pools. All right, guys? We may never get to eat a turkey egg again because I'm not eating one that they're gonna lay in a pool. I don't know, that just sounds weird to me. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. not. I was gonna give it to uh, Zena. I'll probably do that tomorrow just because well, I know it hasn't been in there very long because I rinsed that pool out this morning. Yeah. And then tonight. She got in to cool off and was like, oops, drop something. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys have ever heard of a turkey laying an egg in the water, leave it down in the comments. I doubt that many people have though. Who knows? But uh, Cassie has made it through her full day at school. First day back. Yay. How was it? It was great. It was good to be back with the kids. Uh, lots of old smiling faces and new smiling faces, so it was a good day. So that means that she's feeling much better if she went back for a full day. So percentage-wise, you back, you back 50, 60, 70, 80, 90? 100%. Oh, 100%. So there's, <laughs> there's your update on Cassie. She's um, feeling better, doing better. I'm so happy um, and relieved that she's feeling better. And I know a lot of you guys... She wants to put me to work. I do want to put her to work. I've got a lot of... <laughs> Um, honeydew list for Cassie, all right? Now there have been a lot of subscribers that have been worried about her and have been praying for her, and we thank you so much for that. We really um, know that there's power in prayer and that um, there's power in the name of Jesus. And thank you guys so much for, for the prayers. We, we do appreciate it. Um, as far as catching up with the walkers, prayer requests, do you have, you have any other prayer requests right now? Um, put me on the spot. I know. Don't you just love it when people put you on the spot? I didn't tell her I was going to ask her that. Um, 
Well, I mean, our church has a prayer chain that goes around often, and so the first thing I think of is uh, one of my friends' uh, grandpa had a car wreck last week, and um, instead of getting better, he seems to be getting worse. No, like, huge, one big huge thing, just lots of several small things. And so on the prayer chain today, it went out asking for prayers for him. Um, I cannot remember his name without uh, looking, but my friend's name is Lonnie, and it's her grandpa. Um, so prayers uh, for healing uh, for him. So if you guys would remember that, we appreciate it. Also, leave your prayer requests down in the comments. And I almost forgot I was going to show them the picture of a little crazy chicken lady. So <laughs> don't you have a picture that you took when you transferred the chickens to the new home? Yeah. All right, so we're going to put that picture up right now. Uh, this is one of our friend's daughters, and uh, she absolutely loves chickens. She's really into them. It was really sad when the coons got hers, so Cassie, I think you made her day. Yeah, and she was pretty excited about Carter. Yeah, Carter's, a, Carter's just a cool little rooster anyway. He's super nice, and he's going to fit in there. Yeah, I told Gary, I don't know, it's been a month ago. I said, I really need to find a home for Car Carter, but I don't just want to like sell him or something like that i would really like to find him a good home and he now has a good home yeah that's awesome so thank you guys so much for following along we hope you have a great day god bless and we'll see you next time love you guys